Now, if you're in design and work on freelance projects like me, you're probably used to Apple Notes, Google Docs, and complex sprint management softwares crowding up your day to day. So in order to speed up my workflow, I've begun to take advantage of organizing my tasks based on projects and simple tools like an Eisenhower matrix to help me spend more time designing. So here's how I'm able to manage dozens of clients and 50 plus projects every single year. So the first thing I always do when I'm organizing my design uh, tasks is I group them by project. If you try to have one massive file with all of your design tasks, you're going to get confused between projects. So I always tend to group them by projects themselves. So you notice here I have UI Collective as one project. I can go ahead and add another project that just call this, you know, client uh, number one. And all my tasks, all my documents are stored unique to this client. So there's no cross collaboration between different projects that I'm working on. So I always know um, where my tasks, where my notes are stored for this individual client or for this individual project. And probably the worst thing that you can actually do is we're designers, we're moving a million miles a minute. One thing you don't want to have to do is have to worry about where you're adding your project or where you're adding the tasks you need to work on, where you're taking notes. I just want to be able to type, hit enter, and add in that task that I'm supposed to do. Again, I'm, I'm constantly in meetings. I'm going meeting to meeting. I don't always have time, and us as designers do not always have time, in order to properly organize your tasks. A lot of it is add and organize later. So one thing we've done here is I've introduced this idea of an add task bar. So I can easily add tasks as such as like uh, send user research note, research uh, note to Amber. If I can spell research right, hit enter. And I can see that that task is already added. I can easily then change the due date for that task and assign that a specific role, whether it's not urgent and important, urgent and important. And this is where the Eisenhower matrix comes in because every day I can come in here and see what's urgent and unimportant, what's urgent and important that I need to work on throughout the week. So I can come in here, quickly add the tasks as I'm going about and easily come in in the morning and see what's urgent and important, what's urgent and not important. So I can make sure the most important design tasks get out of the way first. And you know, as product designers, we're always involved in the full stage of the product design process. From user research to user experience, to the visual design, to the stakeholder management, we're kind of involved across the board. And the one thing I always used to do, and it's something I see a lot of designers do as well, is actually have a Google Doc or store everything specific to the project in one master sheet. And it's not broken out between almost the different disciplines, the different features that you're working on. So one thing we've introduced here is this idea of lists. So based on the project that I'm working on, so you'll know I toggle between client there is I can all of a sudden start adding different lists for different <clears throat> um, categories of the project that I'm working on, whether it's from user uh, research uh, to user experience, maybe to the visual design. Uh, or even if uh, I'm taking notes specific to, you know, user research sessions, you can also add lists according to the specific feature or broader category of item that you're working on that day. So user research uh, sessions. So taking notes, adding tasks specific to those sessions themselves. And one request I always got was to help designers with the necessary tasks for them to get started. Example, build a design system. We're focused on design systems a lot of the time, and not every designer is going to know what components they need where. So we've actually introduced and began to introduce these ideas of task templates. So if I want to go ahead and create a new list here, uh, just call it our design system. Let's say for this client, I'm also working on building a new design system. So I can go ahead and apply this list here, uh, or this template here, to that design system list. And when I navigate back, you'll see that I have all of these tasks loading in with descriptions, uh, status variants that I need, and success criteria to help me build the best design system possible. And one of the items that was, that was most requested to be added was this idea of storing notes within your file, or within your project. So we're all familiar with Apple Notes. We're all familiar with Google Docs. And for a lot of designers, that's the central place where they store their notes. What happens then is you're constantly scrolling through, looking for the right date for the notes uh, of the meeting from last week. So being able to store all of your notes or documents all of a sudden within one larger file seamlessly. So for as an example, meeting notes with Andrea, I can add in uh, meeting notes with Andrea and easily you can see that's been added. So next, when I, whenever I navigate into this project, I always have the notes readily available or search for the specific note as well. And you can get a one-week free trial to this tool and much more with UI Collective.